Hey everyone, and today I just want to make a quick video on the ultimate fastest way to get um, mini boss kills and um, nether stars for getting Kudra keys. So what you want to do is get a Hyperion and get a mage set up, because this is the best way to do them, right? And what's actually very good about the mini bosses is you actually want mana steel on them. Because the fact that we're using Hyperion for all this, and the deaths don't matter because you can warp around so easily. What you do is you put mana steel on your Hyperion... And then you stand in the mini bosses. So I'm going to show you the cycle that's really good for getting the most keys. So you start off with either an outlaw or a blade soul. And I'll show you the best possible way. So first we kill the um, outlaw, right? You just, you want to stand in the middle, blah, blah, blah. Don't try and get greedy and go for the kill right then. It I pretty much consistently cannot get him down before his third phase. And he will one tap you because of his shield. So, you know, you get your loot, blah, blah, blah. Then you want to warp nether. Okay. So, and then you fight the blade soul. Who is respawned. The way that this cycle works is that blade soul respawns. And you just go back and forth between these two guys. And then once you run out of mana, you let him kill you. Because um, you get half your mana back on death. So this is the fastest way to do the most DPS. So you can see I'm out of mana. He just he kills you. It's no worry. It's the fastest way to kill them. I mean, if you have full mana, then you can kind of one cycle him, but this is the fastest way. So then you get your key. And why we go between the Blade Soul and the um, Mage Outlaw is they're by far the fastest minis. Then you go through this room to get your Spectre kills to get a chance at a Vanquisher, because it's a lot of mobs you kill. I um, am like top 50 Spectre kills because they give you so many Blade Souls. Um, it's It's honestly crazy how many mobs spawn there how fast so you know you get your specter again and what you do is you warp kudra which is right next to the mage outlaw so you go warp kudra and you have a little bit of time to spare so if you want you can check if anyone's doing blade ashfang looks like no one is you can check if anyone's doing barbarian duke looks like he's already dead yeah he's at full health i guess i'll hit him Just so I can get loot. But then I'm going to leave. Because this strategy doesn't focus on him. The main point is that you go between killing Blade Soul, killing the Spectres, then warping here. And um, Plasma Flux is honestly kind of nice. But let's take off my armor so I can put a Plasma Flux down easier. Then you wait here for a second for Bla um, Mage Soul or Mage Outlaw to spawn, which is going to be like 20 seconds maybe. There you go. And, you know, you use your Hyperion with Mana Steel. And basically how it works is if you see him ever start to float, that's when you want to back up because he will one-tap you. So stop hitting him during those phases. So then once he starts to come down, you can just do it again. And with this strategy, it's really easy to get keys. Also, you can't never go for the kill if he's lifting up you will always die <laughs> i found that you always will underestimate how much health he has like ah so close one tap away but there we go so outlaw down you get our stuff and then you warp nether again and you want to fight the blade soul again he will have almost respawned i don't know if he has yet yeah it looks like he has and you just keep going back and forth let him kill you again i was pretty much out of mana which is why i stopped healing there you see he's already at half health and it looks like someone else is going to kill it but it doesn't matter we still got well over first place get our stuff again go over here kill the specters again that looks like someone else is doing this too and there's a vanquisher Okay, so how Vanquishers work is everyone gets loot share. So when you spawn one, you want to um, pretty much, you have to tell the cords or else you're kind of a jerk. Like that guy, he just killed it. Very rude of him. Um, 
Jimmy, right? Anyway, so there's I think there's a max of five players that can get loot share. So you wait for five people that, to get there, and then you kill it. And other than getting your Vanquishers, you just keep warping between Warp Kudra to get your Mage Soul, or Mage Soul, <laughs> Mage Outlaw, Blade Soul. Anyway, so you warp here, he's going to be spawning in a second, and you just keep going back and forth. Um, this method does work really well. You can see I've got, um, uh, I don't know why they don't stack sometimes. But anyway, I've got quite a few keys, and this is just from like root last couple hours. Hello? Are you gonna... I don't know why he was letting me hit him so much. I got 34 mil. That was a pretty good cycle. And for Outlaw, you just you just have to worry when he starts to like lift into the air. That's the only time it matters. And that's when you have to back up or else you'll instantly die. There we go, and yeah, and then you just keep rinse and repeat. So warp nether again. It's the ultimate strategy for getting your keys. And um, there I did have a little bit of mana left, so I could have not died. I should have healed myself, but whatever. So you do have to actually focus a little bit, but not a ton. And then you, you know, just keep doing what I was doing. Keep going back, get your specter kills, and then you go up here, specters again, and then kill the blazes, because there's actually quite a few of them. Pretty much any mob can spawn Vanquisher, I'm pretty sure. Then run back, specters, and then you just, you can either, you've got a little time to kill, so again, you can, if you warp Kudra, I can see someone just died to the Barbarian Duke, right? So what I'm going to do is fly over there. All right. Get a little man or get a little damage. Not too much. Just a little. Actually, it looks like one of the guys is going to die. Or kill it. Never mind. Just get a little damage on it. That's all that matters. And once it dies, you'll get loot anyway. So I'm going to go over to the, bar the Mage Outlaw again. Once it dies, it'll tell you in chat, so there's no reason to worry about it. It was nice that we got the Vanquisher right then for part of the video. It's kind of cool. Barbarian Duke's really easy. It's, he's just too slow. He's a really slow boss that isn't worth it for keys. If you want money, it's fine. And you basically you kill him, and you just keep walking around in a circle. You see, I just got the kill. I got third place on it. So now I'm going to fly over, pick up the loot. All right, got your cloth, and then warp Kudra again, because that just puts you near where the both both bosses are. And then you do your outlaw again. 48 mil. Yeah, basically the goal is to do under, or get him under 50 mil. If you get him under 50 mil, then you know that was a good cycle. Ooh, I almost just died. <laughs> I almost used an ability during his phase, which would have been dumb. And you just keep hitting so that you, you know, have your mana steal. And he's dead. Let's see if we get a key. Nope. Anyway, so this is the best strategy for actually grinding the nether and like trying to get keys and um you know nether stars so i hope this helps some people take care peace